everyone. And I'm going to quickly kill this uh, wolf. Thank you. It was kind of annoying. So uh, I'm going to show you the minimap system I made yesterday. So this is what you can see at the top right of the screen here. So as you can see, you know, we have a player indicator. It is rotating as the, ro the player rotates. And it is also, of course, uh, showing us the map layout and um, our current position in this world. So something to note is that it is a texture based uh, minimap system because I always hated um, camera based minimap system, something I just don't like using at all. So the way it works is that we just have a um, game canvas, game UI canvas here. And as you can see, we have this uh, minimap image here. And this image is moving and being adjusted based on the minimap scale as well as the player world position. So we are translating the world position in 3D of the player to a 2D uh, minimap texture. And it's working perfectly, as you can see. Um, so I'm just going to work around a little more and then I'm going to show you how to actually, you know, create your own minimaps and uh, scenes. I mean, I already made a video on how to create your custom scenes in Unity, but I want to show you how to set up your um, minimap system. So I made a, a new map, which is called testing scene, test map two, my bad. And as you can see, it's a very, very basic, uh, very basic um, well, map. It's just a flat ground with a couple uh, obstacles around so that we can, you know, uh, have some kind of things to look at on the minimap. And um, I already made a texture for it, but I'm going to delete this one and show you how I proceed. So as of right now, it's very, um, let's say, not automated uh, the way you create your uh, minimap texture and stuff like that. But in the future, I expect it to be 100% automated. But as of right now, you kind of have to do it manually. So the way I do, I create my texture for those maps, and this will work with any map. It doesn't matter if it's a, a sphere or whatever, you, you just need to have it fit in a square. That's all. So you just right click, create a new camera. You can disable your normal camera when you do that. So you, you, know, you don't really tweak the settings, etc. I reset the, um, well, not the rotation. The rotation, the X rotation should be 90. So looking at the ground and uh, I reset the position. But this is of course because my cube is, or rather my map is perfectly centered at the middle of the origin. But um, you can, you can, you know, uh, set this camera position to be at the exact middle of your map. It does not have to be zero, zero, zero. That's it. Now, um, concerning the perspective, I go to orthographic and then I tweak the size. So um, I also need to be a bit, you know, higher in the in the y position so that we are not under the map and then i just try to make it fit as good as possible and then i simply go here take a, a screenshot and um and then you put it in a software like gimp or photoshop or whatever you you're using and you can um you know just scale it or like crop it to uh, exactly the minimap you see that there is no border and try to keep it a format, uh, a square format. So in this case, you see that it's 900 by 900. So that's it. And now you go to, um, you know, save it in your files as uh, your new minimap image and export it that way. Now we are in the Unity project again, and we have this test map too. You have to set it to be Sprite 2D. So you go to texture type, Sprite 2D and apply. And here you see we have our uh, minimap. Now you can just delete this camera and enable the normal cameras again. And that's it. You have a um, new map and a new minimap texture. Now we need to do a few more things. So if you go in the RPG Builder Editor, you see that we have um, this new module, which is called Game Scenes. And this lets you define your um, different world or scenes and settings about them. So for example, minimap settings, their names, their description, and so on. Here you see that I started to make one already, which is test map two. The name here, very important. There is one field only, which is extremely important in this um, module. It's test, I mean, the na name scene has to match the scene of the name, just simple as that. 
So in this case, we see that we are working on this test map too. You can just copy that and um, paste it here. And that's all. The rest can be up to you. The display name is for the UI. So you can have a name here, but whatever name you want to be visible for your players is going to be this one. Now you see that we have the minimap image. And in this case, um, it's very simple. You just go to the texture you just generated and you drag and drop it or select it from the uh, project folder. And then you have map bounds. This is very important. So um, map bounds, the, um, the center needs to be the origin of your map. And in this case, if you create an empty game object and I reset it to zero, you see that it's exactly at the center. So for me, it's easy, map bounds, and the center needs to stay 0, 0, 0, 0. But the extent is basically the, um, how far your um, map is going. In this case, for me, it's about uh, 125, because this uh, square is uh, 250. And you see that here, I now have um, the extent of my map. So you can just, you know, tweak around these values until you find something that matches perfectly the uh, extremity of your map. So in this case, we will just write uh, 125 here and 125 here and keep it at zero for the Y. That's it. For the map size, uh, this can be based on the resolution. So for now, this can be tweaked in game to make sure it works well. For now, I'm just going to set it to um, 4096 and see if it's um, fitting well in game. If not, we can just simply tweak it, save it, and it will automatically update um, right in game. So that's very easy. So that's it. Now we have um, this new you know, test map data. We can just close that, remove this game object because it's not needed anymore. Mm -hmm. And we can go to the main menu. Now I'm going to go to the build settings and add this test map too. Otherwise, we will not be able to teleport to it. And one last thing I'm going to do is going to raise and make the um, human start to uh, test map two. And I'm going to create a new world position also. Call it test map two and put it at maybe zero 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 and one, just so we start as um, at the um, very center of the map. So I'm going to go to this and check those five, uh, files out, otherwise I can't override them. This is not something you're going to have to do if you're not using Perforce. And that's it. So now we have our test map to um, world position and we can select it here. So what we did here is create a new coordinate point in the world somewhere. And we said that the human race is now starting on test map two. And what I want to show you now is um, just like that, the human race is now going to start to this map we just defined and the game is automatically going to, um, to be initialized. So we just entered and as you can see, the texture tiling is very bad. I should have tweaked that actually. But as you can see, um, we have a minimap here. So this was, you know, automatically assigned and initialized based on your um, settings and as you can see the settings seems to be actually um good so in this case we can you can see that you know we are next to these obstacles here and the map actually um seems to be doing that well so that's pretty cool it's you know like i said very basic system but at the same time very functional so i think it's very nice to to have the only reason i added that it was actually not planned for uh 1.0 the, the first version the only reason is because yesterday I was starting to get myself lost in the demo map. So I was like, if I get lost, um, everybody will. And I don't want people to get frustrated in the demo. So yeah, and I think having a minimap system in version 1.0 is definitely a big plus. So that was pretty much it. Uh, you can replicate this process as many times as you want for all your maps and it will work just the exact same way. If it doesn't, um, if like the... the if you see that the player position is not translated properly on the minimap, then you can just tweak those values until this works. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any issues with the first version of this minimap system, just definitely message me and I'm going to help you out. But make sure this is um, 
I mean, be sure this is going to be heavily updated in the future. It's kind of a temporary thing, kind of like placeholder system until I make a much more advanced one, you know. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.